<laughs> Raquel, you're muted. <laughs> I love to talk after I've muted myself. So welcome to our call. I'm excited to get you ready for our official day one on Monday. Um, the, the point of this call is to really answer any last minute questions and just to go over all of our most favorite tips so that you can get the best results and have the greatest success in our challenge. So first things first, what I wanted to talk about is Shakeology. Um, so hopefully you've received your package in the mail. If not, hopefully it'll be there um, this weekend. Um, but Shakeology is our superfood nutrition. So it's 100% all natural. This is something we encourage you to start drinking today. So if you've already got your package, just go ahead and start making it today. Um, it might take you a little while for your taste buds to adjust to all the um, vitamins and minerals and superfoods and pre and probiotics and adaptogens. It's full of amazingness. Um, but sometimes people either love it immediately or need to really kind of tweak that recipe before their taste buds really start to adapt. Um, I will say it takes about a week for you to really start feeling the effects in your system. Um, so consistently drink it for a week and by day six or seven, you're going to really start to feel good. And what people notice first is they have this, what they can, what we call like rested energy. Um, you just feel like I have really good energy and not like you had a, you know, a cup of coffee or Red Bull, but like I got a really great night's sleep. Um, and so that's really what's going to be great for you when your body is nutrient deprived. A lot of times we feel tired and lethargic. So this is going to fill in those nutritional gaps. Um, just a heads up, we'll be posting there's recipes in the file section. If they're not there already. I'll double check that they, we put them in there. Um, but my favorite way to make it is with um, a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Um, and then I usually add half a frozen banana. Sometimes I'll do like half a cup of blueberries. Um, lots of ice. If that's too thick, go ahead and add an extra uh, half cup of liquid. So if it's, if you like it kind of like thickier, thicker, smoother, um, creamier consistency, add a cup. Um, if you like it a little bit, not as dense, you can add a cup and a half of liquid. But again, we'll have recipes in the file section, so don't have to worry about that. But cannot stress enough, start drinking your Shakeology every single day. And if you need help finding that recipe, let us know because this is really going to be the secret sauce um, to help you have success on the journey because we're going to be asking our bodies to move more, adding more exercise, um, and we're going to be changing what we're eating. So we want to make sure that we, our bodies are getting all the nutrients that we have so that we're not crashing, that we feel satisfied, and it's also going to help curb those cravings. So if you have a sweet tooth problem like me, this is going to be your lifesaver. Um, next thing I want to talk about is um, Facebook, and also you should have been added to our Challenge Tracker app. So Facebook is where we'll be posting every single day our daily motivation as well as in the evening. We'll be doing an evening check-in to see how your day was. So you can't go missing or we will come and find you. So um, every morning we'll have a little activity, participate, um, and then in the evening let us know how your day was. Um, in the app, that's where we want you to track that yes, I had my Shakeology, and then yes, what workout did you do? That's where we're gonna be making sure um, that you're staying consistent. We'll be giving out prizes to those who track the most, but that's our best way to make sure that you are sticking to the plan of working out, drinking your Shakeology. Facebook, again, is where we're gonna really engage with one another. That's where we're gonna post the files, our recipes, um, our favorite tips. That's where we'll go live and share things that we're doing throughout our day. But that's kind of the difference of both. Um, I just want to iterate right now. The people that get the very best results, and we're all here to get results, right? We wouldn't be here otherwise, are the ones who engage in the group the most. So. I encourage you, if you're having an awesome day and you're like, man, I just killed my workout, I feel so good, I turned down cookies at lunch, I feel awesome, tell us and let us celebrate with you. Because sometimes other people just like don't understand. Sometimes when I tell my husband like I'm super excited about the workout I did today, he just doesn't understand. We're there with you, we get it. When you turn down a donut, I want to celebrate with you because donuts are my weakness, so let's celebrate. Um, likewise, if you're having a rough day and, um, you know, maybe a breakfast taco or two did slip through your fingers, right? Or, you know, you hit snooze. Sometimes that happens to me. Come in and tell us. You know, there's no need to hide. It's okay to be like, you know what, guys? I hit snooze today. I really need to work out today. Can you please 
make sure I do it before the day is over. And that's our job is to motivate you, to pump you up, to encourage you, and to hold you accountable. So I can't stress enough, engage in our group. Um, we're all in this together as a team, and we really are better together. So those are my top tips. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Jessica, and she is going to share some other tips to have the best success in this group. So fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to talk food because clearly that's not my thing. Um, so you probably, if you haven't gotten them already, you have your portion fixed containers. So these fabulous colored containers, if you haven't gotten them in the mail, don't worry, they will be here. But these are going to be your lifeline. They're going to be your best friends. You can stick them in the microwave. You can stick them in the dishwasher. They're super resilient. Um, and they have cute little labels that tell you what goes where. So I'm just going to go through kind of what to expect. I know when you first get them, when I first saw them, I was like, heck to the no, those are tiny. I'm going to starve to death. And I promise you all, I promise 90% of the time my challengers are like, do I have to eat all this food because it's so much? Because when you're eating healthier food, it A, it tastes so good. You feel like your mind is satisfied, but B, when you're eating healthy food, your body is satisfied and so you're not craving more junk. So it's, it's really good. It's a lot of food, I promise. And if you don't get it all in the first couple of days, don't stress. Just make sure you really focus that you get in your reds, which is your proteins, and you get in your greens, which is your veggies. Veggies are always ones that I'm like, oh, I'm just too full. I just can't have any more lettuce. No, it's just because I don't like greens. But make sure if you skip anything, skip the other colors. But these two are like got to happen no matter what because it's super important for your body running efficiently. And you've got to make sure you've got enough protein for your fuel, for your muscles. And you just need those greens for all sorts of stuff. Okay, so with your containers as well, so meal prepping and meal planning. We're going to talk a ton about this. Tomorrow you're going to see in the group there's going to be meal plans that are completely filled out for you. So they're filled out with a calorie bracket. You've already figured out which calorie bracket you're in for what your goals are. And our meal plan is kind of the generic in-between calorie bracket. So when you see that, you will just adjust up or down accordingly. So maybe you see that it has like two purples. Maybe you have to do a purple and a half for that serving in order to reach your your caloric needs for the day. So if you have questions about that, let us know. But the meal plans will be full and they'll have attached recipes and attached grocery lists. So literally, it's absolutely the most simple thing ever. You could print it off and just march straight to the grocery store and not think at all. Maybe you've dabbled in it before, or maybe you want to be a little more risky, get a little more experimentation. Cool. There's blank meal planners in there as well. So you can kind of pick and choose and say, okay, well, I do like this, but I know I hate this. So I want to kind of mix things around. You can totally do that too. So there's a very simple option, take it and go, or you can mix and mingle. Normally what happens is the first time you follow the example pretty closely, and then each week you start to get a little more brave. You try out new recipes because there's so many. And in the challenge group, we're constantly sharing, oh, hey, this is what I'm eating for lunch today. That's a great idea. Or here's what I'm doing for my sweet tooth. So we're constantly constantly throwing in new recipes and new ideas to help you keep it fresh and to keep it tasty. The biggest thing I want you to make sure is that you should be super satisfied with what you're eating. Um, Amanda, you're not on here, but I know you're going to be listening to the recording because you just messaged me. And she <laughs> messaged me that she felt guilty having her Shakeology with almond milk and peanut butter because she thought it tasted too good. <laughs> she goes, I don't think I should drink it that way because it tastes too good. And I said, that's okay. Should I feel guilty if it tastes good? I'm like, no, no. That's the purpose is your meals should be satisfying both emotionally and physically. Like food is okay to enjoy. And you just, when you're eating smart, you can see still really have great tasting food, but you're also really balancing the nutrients that you're getting. And it's just such a good combination. Now then let's talk chocolate and wine because that's why I'm really here. So you get three zings per week. A zing is something that is like, you know, non-clean. It's, it's something that's kind of not what you're going for. So a, a zing would be anything that's off of your technical clean nutrition. So clean meaning minimal processed foods. Try to stay away from packaged food that has a longer shelf life than your than your own life because that's generally a, a good rule of thought. Um, try to stay with fresh food. And when you look on the ingredients, five ingredients or less is like my go-to and make sure you can you can pronounce the ingredients. A zing would be something that's off of that category, preferably dark chocolate 
or a dry wine. So when you're thinking wine, a lot of people think you have to do red. You don't, of course it's heart healthy, but wine, the drier, the better. So there's some really sweet reds that are really packed with sugar and there's some really sweet whites. At the end of the day, whatever one you choose is perfect, but I get that question a lot, so I thought I'd just throw it out there. So dry wine is where it's at. If you're not a wine drinker, you could just do, think one drink. So one drink is going to replace a yellow container. So let's say on your meal plan, you have three yellows every day, but you decide you want to save those yellow containers for a glass of wine or two glasses of wine because it's Friday and you're feeling fancy, then you would have two glasses of wine and only eat one yellow mm. container. So I hope that makes sense. So your yellow container would replace your zing. Now, if you're having it in the form of dark chocolate or a Snickers bar or cookie or brownie or whatever, then it needs to fit in this orange container. Yes, this little guy, but don't fear. You can really fit some good quality sugar in here. I know it looks small, but you can really pack this baby tight. But the key is you should be able to fit the lid on all of your containers. This is something I struggled with in the beginning, especially with my yellows. I'd be like, hey girl, hey, let me just mound this up with my pasta. But the, the key is that you should be able to fit the lid on top. So level off with your containers when you're measuring. So zings, you are allowed three per week. So if you love dark chocolate or wine or whatever, go crazy. Now, if you're somebody who has dark chocolate or wine and you're like, oh gosh, three is not enough. I need to have it every day. It's okay. Just make sure you replace your yellows and make it your goal to try to do three. But we're baby stepping here and it's a lifestyle. So if you're somebody who loves to have a glass of wine every day, as long as you're doing one for us four ounce glass per day, that's leaps and bounds ahead of most people. So that's great. If that's what you love, you're still going to see amazing results. I promise. Just replace it with one of those yellows. Other questions I get about yellows, um, your pastas, your oatmeals, your rice, you want to measure it cooked. So don't measure it uncooked. I get that question a lot. You're, you know, so if you do steel cut oats or you do pasta, spaghetti, whatever, your pasta, whatever goes in your yellow container, make sure it's already cooked before you measure out. Next thing I get a lot of questions about is casseroles or um, spaghetti or foods that are mixed. Like tonight I had chicken stir fry. So I had brown rice mixed with carrots and green beans and chicken, soy sauce all mixed together. So that would be a green container, a yellow container for the rice, red container for the chicken. So how do you measure that? Because it's all in one pot. You take your purple and it's the size of your purple container. So if you have spaghetti or enchilada casserole, there's a Mexican casserole dish on the meal plan, any of those dishes that everything is already combined together, then you measure it by using one purple. So that way you're, so you're not literally trying to Okay, I think it's I think four chickens and you don't have to split it out and don't stress yourself. But of course, if you have questions of, hey, I have this and I don't know what it is, we recommend if you're going to do some sort of a bar, we try to stay away from package bars because they are so overprocessed. But if you the bars that we love, there's a bar called That's It. It's at Target. I've never seen the HEB. It might be on Amazon. The only place I can find it is Target, but they're fabulous. They are purple, they're just fruit. They're only fruit, but they're like smished. So it kind of like you're eating a carb so that it kind of gives you that carb feeling and it gives you that bar feeling. It's called That's It. There's different kinds of fruits. That would be a purple container. There's also Lara bars, L-A-R-A -A bars. And those are super clean. They're predominantly made with fruit as well. They also have nuts. So those would count as half a blue and a purple, half a yellow. And those are great to like stick in the freezer, stick in the fridge. They taste like candy bars when they're super cold. So those are super yummy. Those are at HEB. Those are at Target. Those are everywhere. Amazon Prime, that's my jam. They come there too. So those are some kind of um, common questions about the meal plans. Again, everything will be recipes, ideas, gluten-free, vegan. If you have any of those issues or um, requests, those will be in the file section of the Facebook group as well. So you'll see me post them in the morning and then I'll post a reminder about to look there. Saturday, we'll post a video on meal prepping just to make sure that you feel good about it. Don't get overwhelmed. With meal prepping, you can do one of two things. So some people will prep everything, lunches, dinners, breakfast. Some people only prepare dinners. Some people only prepare lunches. So just whatever your schedule allows. For me personally, I try to make sure that I have 
prepared at least two to three dinners. And then the other dinners I have on my meal plan, I make sure they're super quick to make. Like um, nachos I had this week, that was something that wasn't pre-prepared, but it literally, it took me 10 minutes to make. My chicken and stir fry tonight, for example, I cooked the rice and the chicken on Sunday. So I already had the cooked chicken. I have a big old thing of brown rice because I used it for two meals this week. So I pre-cooked all that on Sunday and then I just threw it in a pot tonight so that it took me 10 minutes to throw together. So when you're thinking meal prepping, don't get overwhelmed. When you watch the video on Saturday, it'll make more sense. A lot of times lunches are great to prep. Most of the time I do Shakeology for lunch just because I'm normally feeding babies at that time. And so making lunch for myself just doesn't happen. So Shakeology for lunch is super quick and easy for me. Most people do it for breakfast if they're running out the door. It doesn't matter what time of day you do your Shakeology and it can change all the time. Sometimes mine is in the form of dessert. If I'm having a real sweet tooth day, I do a mug cake and we'll, we'll give you the recipe for that, but it's delightful. So if you have a day that you feel like I can just not quench this sweet tooth, you throw Shakeology mug cake together and you will be golden. It really, like I almost sometimes can't even finish it because it's so, it's just so dense and so rich. It's so good. Okay, so that's kind of meals, questions. We talked about Facebook. We talked about the app. We talked about how important it is to be involved in the group. We're so, so excited. And I know that it can be a lot and a little bit overwhelming, but you're going to love it. All you have to do is press play, check into the group, eat your greens, drink a Shakeology, and just have fun. And just know this is meant to be a lifestyle. It's meant to be balanced. You should never feel like you're starving. You should never feel stressed. But the first week, it's going to be bumpy because you got to figure out a new schedule. You're figuring out food. You're figuring out snacks. And, oh, I forgot to take this. Or It'll be bumpy, but let us know. By week two, by day 13-ish, you're like rocking and rolling. You can't even remember your old self. Any questions that you guys have? Feel free to type them in the chat box or just shout them out. Feel good? Feel excited? Yes. yes. Whoop, doo, whoop, okay. whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, again, if you have questions, feel free to post them in our Facebook group. That's what it's there for. Um, and I will say if you have a question, most likely somebody else has the same question. So feel free to just speak out. We are so excited to get you started on your journey and the fun will officially begin on Monday. All right, y'all have a great evening. Bye. Good night. Bye. Night.